Yeah, we're in the uh, PDP-1 area. Yeah, this is, this is kind of frustrating because they have a right around. Mm -hmm. This is the original chair, by the way, PDP-1. Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so all the furniture kind of matched together. And they yes, had, it did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And of course, this is the little 535 oscilloscope. So they have 535. So let me give you a little background on the PDP-1. So this is uh, um, the first computer that uh, Digital Equipment Corporation made. And as I mentioned to you before when we were doing the tour, uh, when the deck engineers wanted to build a computer, they were told no, right? Because the uh, deck was very concerned about trying to compete with IBM. But eventually they decided to build a computer, but they said you can't call it a computer because uh, we don't want to raise IBM's hackles. So they called it a PDP, okay? PDP is Program Data Processor. So it wasn't a computer, it was a Program Data Processor. <laughs> so so uh, at any rate, um, <clears throat> that, uh, uh, that was the way they kind of got around the computer thing, was by calling it the PDP. And of course, this is the first one, so it was the PDP-1. Um, it was an inexpensive machine, uh, relatively, not, not to our thinking, but in that day when mainframe computers were a million dollars, the PDP-1 was $120,000. And the PDP-1 included something that most machines did not have, which was a display. Uh, that was very unusual for computers in the 1959-1960 era to have any kind of display. So uh, uh, it did. And uh, therefore, it, it was kind of unique because you could do graphs and things like that on it. Um, so it was very cool that way. The, uh, the interesting thing about the PDP-1, too, was the fact that, that DEC decided to give one to MIT. Um, reason being that many of the senior people at Digital Equipment Corporation were alma maters of uh, you know, MIT, so they had a place in their heart for them. But secondly, the tax laws were kind of interesting then, in that uh, the IRS allowed you to write off the entire retail price of the machine. Now, the, the retail price was $120,000, and it only cost them $40,000 to build the machine. So they actually made money by giving, the tax write-off was worth more to them than the, the whole thing, so they made money giving the machine away. 